talk about the movie The Grey for a second. The Grey came out in 2011, starring Liam Neeson, and I jumped right on that one. I'm a big Liam Neeson fan. I thought there was going to be lots of karate chopping and lots of bang bang and lots of kicking and, and driving fast cars and stuff, and that definitely did not happen at all. Just, no, wrong. That's not what that movie is. And I guess I didn't take a whole lot of time to figure out what the movie was going to be about, but just, no, no, that's just, that's not, that's not what happened. Um, this movie actually is about Alaskan oil refinery workers. And Liam Neeson's character is a sharpshooter for Alaskan oil, oil refinery workers. And why would they need a sharpshooter? Well, I'll tell you why you need a sharpshooter. It's because apparently when you're working on pipeline out there in Alaska, wolves can come out and eat you. So you need to have a guy with a gun who can shoot the wolves before they can eat you. It's like... That actually makes sense, and that's probably a real thing, actually, when you think about it. I've never been to Alaska, but I'm sure there are wolves that will come out and eat you if you're not looking. So, that's actually a pretty interesting thing. Um, but yeah, there's these are just a bunch of cold, depressed, alcoholic... Did I say depressed? <laughs> Sad, unwanted convicts. Just the worst people. They just shove them all out to Alaska to work in oil refineries. I guess that's that's what happens. And so they're all just pushed out there. Liam Neeson's character, obviously, he's the sharpshooter. He's the bad boy. He's the big dog. Got a big old rifle. But he actually doesn't want to live. He just He's very torn up about the death of his wife and unhappy with himself and with life for that reason and he actually is on the verge of being suicidal he just he's not happy with his life and no one is at in this in this context so it is kind of a darker jury kind of movie but uh they're moving their team they're flying them to a different location uh for work and mid-flight a huge storm comes up and just tears the plane to shreds Almost everyone on the plane dies except for Liam Neeson and a small group of guys. There's death everywhere. And uh, as they're trying to move the bodies around and just kind of salvage what they can from the luggage and use the fuel to kind of start fires. Because it's like in the middle of winter, in the middle of nowhere. They don't know what's going on. As they're trying to figure out what they're going to do next, some a, a big freaking pack of wolves comes out, starts chewing on people dragging a couple away and it's just like oh crap what do we do and of course the gun's broken so liam neeson can't just go bah, 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 bah. can't make it that easy and so the movie is about this small group of guys trying to figure out how they escape and survive the wilderness of alaska with these wolves chasing them and some spoilers are coming so get ready buckle the freak up um so, just to give away what happens, every single person in this group ends up dying in this process as they try to walk on foot out towards the woods and out towards the wilderness to try and find something, anything, to survive. Because they're running out of food fast, and if they stay by the plane, uh, they're just going to get wrecked by these wolves um, in the night or whenever they can't just stay there is basically what they decided. And Liam Neeson's leading this group and, um, they're, they're being chased pretty, pretty closely. And, uh, they end up killing one, you know, a few wolves and uh, to defend themselves. And so now the, the alpha of the wolf pack has kind of got it in for them. So, you know, they got to figure something out. Um, but they're totally lost. They have no idea what they're doing. They just know that they don't want to go where the wolves are. They're not even they're not even entirely sure where the wolves are. They just know they don't want to be where the wolves are. So, you know, they're doing their best, but it shows every line of of survivalist problems just you got people that succumb to the cold, you got people that start having a mental breakdown, you got people that that have uh, you know, that are just have a wound and they're slowly bleeding to death and you know you have people that uh have a leg injury or are people that end up drowning in the river just 
every element of the survival problem and you know trying to survive in a group in a context like this occurs in this movie and death is just everywhere and so the message that this movie is trying to 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 send and to try and trying to display is is that um death is something that is coming for everybody and sometimes you can't stop it but your approach to it and your efforts as it's coming is what's important, you know, so it kind of introduces the question or encourages the question within you, you know, how's your relationship with death? And, you know, we're seeing it through the lens of this main character, Liam Neeson, who has lost his wife. He's very torn up about it. He doesn't like it, has very hard time accepting that his wife has passed away and that she's gone. Now he's surrounded by death. A lot of his work buddies are just dying left and right. And he's doing his best to try and help them and to and to help, you know, save them, even though he's the biggest and strongest out of all of them. Uh, the smartest as far as survival goes, he just, you know, uh, as he goes, everyone slowly, every one of his team just just dies from uh, from the elements and from the environment and from the wolves, you know. So he has a really hard time because he's trying so hard to save them. And attributing value on their lives and uh, trying to find some meaning in it all. And uh, eventually he ends up, as he's just taken a breather, at the wolf's den, the exact place he was trying to avoid. So at the end, it's just him. But the alpha had it in for him, so the alpha wolf and him are just staring each other down. So this is basically the vision of death staring him right in the face. And uh, there was a moment back at the beginning where he was contemplating committing suicide and he stopped himself. And so here we are. He has faced death again, but instead of uh, the, the prior attitude towards it, he he's approaching it, you know, intending to fight the wolf and trying to kill the wolf. And and, um, you know, so he he has learned this cycle of of courage and uh, of acceptance for for the fact that death eventually comes for everybody. And when you look at the, the principle behind that, it actually makes it a pretty fascinating and pretty moving movie, even though a lot of it is pretty heavy emotional. And it, it just, it gives you an interesting perspective, if, if you ask me. So like I said, definitely not what I was intending to to see when I first went looking for this movie. And I don't know that it, it it's very popular. I don't know that just saying it, I don't, people would know what I was talking about or that this, this movie has any kind of popular reach. Um, but if you're interested in this type of movie and this type of artistic uh, spin on a very basic principle just surviving in the wild and, and, and just, you know, con a meditation or a contemplation on death, um, and just taking courage in it. Uh, I, I'd recommend it if, if that's, you know, I, I, I'll still think it's an acquired taste because it's, it's just a very snowy, very dreary experience. Um, it reminds me of the revenants a little bit, uh, but you know, if you're interested, interest, if you're interested, I'd check it out. And of course, it's Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson has always been a great actor. He does a. This is one of his better performances for sure, and it's very emotive. And he definitely carries the movie. He kind of has to, but uh, hey, I think that's how he likes it. So, um, The Gray came out in 2011. You know. Not, not really, sh you know, decide on your own what you think about it. Uh, but at the end of the day, just the way it was shot, the way it was written, the way it was performed, I think everything about it was very well done. Um, small, simple movie, but well put together and well done. What more can I say?